TSPICA222 with Dogecoin and you. It's 8.49 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I wanted to do an update real quick. This will probably be a three to five minute update before I get the kids to school. But I want to update you guys on... We'll start with Ethereum. We're going to look at it from the short term and the long term. So right now, in the weekly formation, as you know, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this candle. As we approach it a little bit closer, you can see we have the 20 cross and the 50. It's almost about to happen. Now we're so close. We've had a pull down all the way down to 1881, and now we're having this retest up here, which is completely normal. But with the way it looks on the weekly engulfing, we're running out of time if we want to make a move up. And we're going to have to do it today or tomorrow because Sunday will likely bring us down. But I would expect this to start coming down as soon as we break that 20 day in the 30 minute time frame, or the 30 minute and the 20 day in the 30 minute time frame. Um, which we have just started in the last half hour. We had a nice pull down and we broke the 2030. And as you can see, we're at 2032. So we're trying to hang on and maintain this area. But if we use this as resistance, this could be an interesting Friday as the futures end up closing tonight at 8 p.m. You can see we're trying to have a, that's a bearish engulfing candle without even designing itself. Cause once it pulls down and this 20 crosses the 50 in the five minute, this would initiate a drop down under 2000 and then we're gonna go from there. So that's what we're looking at for Ethereum. Um, the biggest thing with Ethereum is in the immediate short term. We haven't broke it yet, but you can see we're trying to break this rising channel, I guess you could call it. And once we break this rising channel, it's an issue. We haven't broke it yet. Like I said, we got room. Run a bull flag. As long as we stay over 2,000, eh, six, seven, we'll be okay. Um, but if we break through that, then we come down to the support because we won't hold this W reversal. But this is a bull flag like we talked about yesterday in the, in the live stream, if you guys were there. So, whoops, what the fuck's going on? What in the hell? So, assuming it were to break out, it would come up to our upper target of around 2200. Assuming it breaks down right here, your technical target would be right back into the consolidation zone at 1903. So pay attention very closely to that. And you're gonna wanna pay attention this morning with that. And then Maddox. Maddox on a bull flag as well. We've, you know, we, we know where it's gonna go if it breaks up. As long as we hold the 20 day, we're crossing. We had a 20 cross the 50. So if I had to guess, I would say we're going to come up to this resistance at about 70 cents and see what's going to happen from there. So that's a little bit of a move. That's four or five cents up. And then with Shiba. Shiba's ugly, but it is breaking outside of this descending triangle in the immediate short term. So if you were to break up above that, it would still be this targeted area up here at about 14.04. That's where it could come up to unless it trades within this descending triangle, but the next target's one, two, three, five, and one, two, seven, three. Make sure to hit that like button. I'll be back shortly.